What's up guys, in today's video, we are back at the river again. Doing some more crappie fishing. Hopefully, we're gonna catch a bunch of crappie, and then if we can't get on the crappie bite, we are gonna try to get some shad. The shad are still here, as you can see. The river is still extremely high. Still high. So hopefully we can get on a few shad. What we're thinking is if this river stays at this level, so downstream from here, they're like, a, like 10 miles or so, there was another dam. They just recently removed that dam. So the striper run, they follow up the shad when the shad run. The shad, are, the shad runs are full swing right now. So we're thinking that the striper might actually follow up the shad all the way up here, because this is as far as you can go on this river. Like that's the spillway to the lake that that comes out of. So we're thinking that the shad, the striper might follow up the shad all the way up here and we might have an awesome time with striper fishing. But that's a possibility, it's not 100% sure. All right, hopefully we can get on some crop. So this is what I got going on here. I was down here yesterday and the guy next to me was killing it on these things. He even caught two on one cast yesterday on these little, I don't know, it's like a chartreuse green. It's like really lightweight. I couldn't really fish it right yesterday because I didn't have my spinning set up, but now I brought my spinning set up just for this. So hopefully I can get on a few crappie. He was catching them like right away too. All right, let's take our first cast now. All right, so like right there they're at. You let it sink. Let me just go like that. You let it sink and then... You got one already. There we go. First cast. Just showing her how to work it. I already got one. See, the moment you start to work it right, you'll start to get them. Just a little guy though. I might have to go to shad fishing. Might have to start shad fishing. All right, let's unhook them, get them back. There we go. See, so you just gotta pause it and then give it a little pop. I'm switching to shad because the crappie, I just, I can't pass up all these shad over here. There's so many, watch, I bet you I'll get one on my first try. My first cast, I'll probably get one. I'm missing them already. There we go, hooked up. Let's actually land them. First one of the day. First shad of the day, right here. Oh, ah, he hooked me. That's why they're so dangerous with two hooks right there. Oh, good thing I didn't go past the barb, but he ended up back in the water. Oh, that was really close to being past the barb. Oh, it's scary. So you go to grab them and then they do stuff like that. He had both hooks in them. I went to go grab the bottom hook off of him and then he flopped. There we go. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, no. What the heck? Oh, that was yours. They're actually eating it today. All of them have eaten it. There we go. Got him. Got him. He's in the current. I gotta get him out. Uh, let's get him over here. Let's get him over here. Oh yeah, there's, there's a decent one right there. That's a, that's a big one, but like they were all that size the other day. No, you're not doing the same thing that the other one did. All right. When they're hooked in the tail, they're dangerous. When they're hooked in the tail, they're dangerous. So I'm getting pliers here. I'm not risking getting a hook in my hand for a shad. All right, there we go. For biggest one of the day right there. It's pretty big. All right, let's wipe, wipe off all the shad guts. There we go, got him. There we go, got him on the bottom one. Little hair jig. Small little dude. Oh, let's unhook him. He's hooked right in the back of the head. Throw him back and get another one. There we go. Got him. Oh my gosh. There we go. Got him. These things are making me mad now. Just a baby. Where are the big ones at? I got one decent one, but this is a tiny one. Tiny little guy. I wonder if I need to put some split shots on the bottom. Okay, that rock is not sturdy. I keep falling on these stupid rocks right here. I think I might need to put some split shots on the bottom one as well too. Just to help get that one down a little bit farther. There we go. Got him. Alrighty. Right, let's get him in. He's running. He's running sideways. 
He's running. There we go. Got him. I let that one sink actually for a little bit. He ate it. Man, these things are hard to grab. They're all so slimy and everything. There we go. There he goes. There we go. Got him. Let's see if we can actually land him now. Let him fight himself. All right, there we go. On the hair jig. On the hair jig. Try not to get hooked. Hair jig shad, right there. There you go. Back in the water. There's so many of them, you can see them jumping everywhere. There's a stupid log down there. And I got one. I was messing with the log and then I ended up getting one. Just like that. Oh, this is a tiny one. They're getting so small. Oh my gosh. They're getting really small. I caught one decent one, but like, this is ridiculous. They shouldn't be this small. They're tiny. We're getting them left and right. And she's got one. Oh, already got him. Already got him. I just started the recording too. Already got him. Already got him. Little guy on the top hook. See, that's why it's so dangerous. You see what he just did there with the the bottom one, the bottom hook. I like fishing two hooks for shad fishing, but at the same time, it's dangerous. There we go. Got the little one. The little one. Come on, we need to get a big one. We haven't got a like a truly big one yet in all this here. We've gotten some nice ones, but we haven't got any true like monsters. There we go. Hooked up. Hooked up. There we go. Let's get him in. He's running in. He's running in. He's running in. Oh, this is a nicer one. See, this is the size they should be right here. This is the size they should be. This is a nicer one. Ugh, right here. This is about the average size we're talking. This is the average size, and I've just been catching dinks. That, this is, that's, that's an average size, but it's nice for what we've been catching today. Hopefully we can get like one of those really big ones before they close the dam. And I don't know when they're closing the dam. I think they're gonna close it in a few days, but I'm not 100% sure. There we go, hooked up. He's going for the current. You can't let him get in the current, otherwise he'll get off. Get back here, get back here. He'll get off if he goes in the current. So yeah, there we go. Finally got one. If you go like three casts without getting a bite, you're like, oh, this sucks. There we go, got him back in the water. And we're not killing them all. You really can't eat shad unless you're smoking them. But the reason why I was giving them away the other day is because I know most of the people that come down here to fish, they really don't have a meal like for the day. So if they don't catch anything, they don't eat. So that's why I, I, when I come down here, I usually give away most of the fish that I catch just because I know that's what happens. A lot of the guys come down here, if they don't catch anything, they don't eat. I can cast this rod so far. There we yeah. go, got him. Woo, he's running, he's running, he's running. Right in the top of the head. They're smaller today though. They, they're usually bigger than I this. I missed a huge one and you caught that. Yeah, I caught, I caught a decent one, but they're usually way bigger than this. And they're so slimy and I'm not trying to get a hook into me. All right, just pop it right off like that. Back in the water. Man, that thing just took off so fast. All of them over 10 minutes. That's what we're going. Ooh, biggin', biggin'. This is a nice one right here. This is a big one. Mm, there we go. There we go. Damn it, I miss one every time. Not a bad shad right here. Got him, got him in the water. There he goes. Going right back down to his little school. You got one? And then she's got one over there. You're just fighting them. Like, this is a good way. Like, if you're new to fishing, this is like a perfect place to take someone that is like new to fishing or like needs to work on like their form. Like, this is like the perfect place. You can catch a million of them. And they fight just like bass too. Or no, they fight unique. They don't fight like bass, they fight unique. That's the way to put that. That's gonna do it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, you're gonna wanna get subscribed. We have a ton of amazing content coming your way and you're not gonna wanna miss it. Also, when they close this dam, we are gonna try bass fishing the river. I have no idea how this is gonna affect the spawn because this is way higher than it should be this time of year. 
I don't know. We're just going to have to be some figuring out. And we got daily content coming at you for all of next week. I'm on spring break, so we're going to get lots of content coming your way. And also, don't forget, to when you subscribe, hit that little bell notification because they are not sending out videos to sub boxes anymore. I don't know. YouTube's been broken the past, like, year. So we're trying to fix it. All right. Thanks for watching. See you.